For more than a century, the Larson family has been dairy farming near Evansville, Wisconsin. Fourth generation manager Mike Larson says there's been much change and progress made at Larson Acres over the years. They purchased their first registered Holstein when Mike was 10 years old. We believe that the registered Holstein uh, uh, breed is, uh, works very well for our uh, business model. Uh, we do a lot of embryo work, we do a lot of uh, classification, we export embryos, uh, we try to put uh, bulls in the AI stud, uh, and uh, we, think, uh, we think of them as a valuable tool to uh, make our uh, business more profitable. More than a decade ago, the Larson family was looking to expand by doubling their herd inventory. At the same time, genomic technology was coming onto the scene they decided to genomically test the new calves being born to evaluate genetics and potential performance. And then it just progressed into testing our own animals and uh, we never looked back. We think genomic uh, uh, testing has uh, greatly uh, impacted our herd for the better. Uh, we're able to get uh, uh, information from that calf at an early age. Uh, we use that information daily basically uh, for every decision making we do. The 2500 head dairy was also an early adopter of the Dairy Wellness Profit Index from the Clarified Plus Genomic Test from Zoetis. Today, Larson says that the index is the single most important number they consider. We first and foremost look at their Dairy Wellness Profitability dollar. That has been proven to me to be the single most important number to base our decision making off of uh, to really show an economic uh, impact to our business. They've seen a huge impact on cow longevity, Larson explains, as they make progress toward their goal of having 40% of the milking herd at the third lactation or greater. Somatic cell counts have improved, as well as decreased cases of mastitis or lameness. And all of these factors lead to higher volumes of quality milk. Would Using that dairy wellness profitability dollars, we have naturally been able to improve our pounds of protein, our pounds of fat, which ultimately is what we get paid for. Uh, and we always start off with the dairy wellness profitability numbers as a, as a, a guideline, as a starting point for everything from picking sires to deciding which females that we wanna keep in our herd to decide which females we want to use sex semen on to make sure we propagate the, 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 the daughters of the families we want to. Animals with high rankings using the Dairy Wellness Profit Index are also gaining strong market value too. The, the whole world is looking at uh, that index. Uh, they're starting to realize how important the wellness traits is on uh, uh, the dairy industry and realizing how accurate that information uh, is. I feel that some of the cow families we've been able to develop and uh, our herd prefix, our genetics are sought after uh, for people looking for uh, high valued, uh, uh, high level dairy wellness profitability uh, uh, individuals. For more information, visit dairywellness.com. For Holstein Association USA, I'm Miles Ramsey.